going to hit some high shots, some low shots, some draws, some fades. I'm even going to try some straight ones. Um, I've loaded up uh, FSX just so that we can get the HMT data as well as GC2. Um, and I'll, I'll post them on there as well. So I'm going to start. Uh, I've got a 7 iron because it's kind of an easier club to get the shape going with rather than an 8 or a 9. Just got middle of the road. So I've stuck it at 180 yards. Uh, and I'm going to start with the draw shot, I think. So I've preset some clubs. We've got draw. I'm going to try and hit a few little draws. I'll probably hit three shots of each. And we'll go from there. A little bit healy. The shape. Yeah, it's got the desired shape to it. Just overdone it a little bit. I hit natural draw anyway, so just try to hit a draw on purpose. Kind of, I tend to overdo it if anything. One more going. That's a bit better. Better. So essentially all I do for the draw shot is set my club face up, aiming far enough to the right of the obstacle that I'm trying to get round. Um, or if I'm trying to hit it into the left hand side of the green because the pin is on the left, I'll just aim my club face where I want the ball to start, but I'll aim my feet further to the right than that. So I'm setting the club face first, slightly to the right, so I'm setting my club face as if I'm hitting it between the bee and the trees just there, but I then set my feet so that they're slightly more to the right than that. And then I've got the club face, so the club face is actually closed slightly in relation to my body. Then I just swing the club along the line of my feet. And that's what then gives it the draw. So that's draw shape. Let's have a look at some numbers. So we've got those all in to out, which is what we want. Um, you can see the first one there, I just had the club face a little bit too close to the path. So if I was presenting a five degree in to out, I'd want the club face about two and a half closed to that subject to strike uh, to bring it back to target. You'll see, so that second one was pretty good. That last one there was very good, so 9.4 and then 4.6, it's pretty much half uh, of that, and it finished pretty much on the target line, uh, just two yards left of it. Um, and what you'll also see is that for every one degree the ball starts offline, you then need about 200 spin of the opposite spin to bring it back to target. So five degrees to the right on the last one, almost a thousand spin to the left to bring it back. Um, so that's the sort of figures I'm looking at. If I'm just looking at GC2, uh, then I'll go by my strike to see whether I've done it. But obviously having HMT helps to see that straight away. Um, okay, so let's go fade. Not one of my favourites, being a natural right to left player to hit the fade. I have to think about it just a little bit more. Same basic principle, aim the club first where I want it to start, so I'll aim it kind of down that line. Feet will then go left of that. I'm gripping the club in relation to my body. And I just swing the club along the line of my feet. Big thin. Big, big thin. Horrible contact. But it had the shape. Okay, let's try that again.
Let us strike. Got the shape. Do one more. Let's look at those numbers. We should just say the opposite of the draw, really. So, yeah, so not quite as controlled with my fades as I am with my draws, but on the average is pretty good. So 4.8 out to win, and the face is then 2.3 open to that. So pretty much half. The shots have gone reasonably well where I wanted them to go. Um, this is always the one I like. It's the good graphic, shows your ball striking and everything on there. I'm going to do a low one and a high one. So let's do the low one next. I'm not going to go for any specific shape, I'm just going to try and hit it lower. So it's all about controlling dynamic loft. So I'm just going to play the ball position slightly further back in the stance. Lean the weight a little bit more on that front foot. And just try and control that dynamic loft. Bring that dynamic loft down a little bit. Useful if I'm hitting into wind. Change that over and then we'll do the high one. And then we'll just look at how much I change the dynamic loft. So let's select high. In contrast, I'm able to put the ball position just ever so slightly further forward. Decrease the amount of forward shaft lean so the hands are almost in line with the club head. And just try and launch one up nice and high. Great shot playing to a front pin position. Get it high, get it to stop a bit quicker. Oh, big toe. Big toe. But it's alright, it's gone higher. Lose a bit of yardage. Okay, let's take a little look at the difference between the high one and the low one in terms of dynamic loft. So low one, here I've gone 17 and 20 degrees, and then the higher one I've gone 27 and 34. My seven iron's about 30 degrees uh, of loft. I would say I present sort of anything 25, 26 degrees on a standard shot. So I'm just taking a bit of loft off on the low one, adding a bit on on the higher one. And now, for some reason, I've said I'll do some straight ones. Um, we're going to be looking for zero path and zero face to path. Not as good a shot as everybody might think it is. You don't want to be zero, zero, because you can miss both ways too much. That way, if you leave the face slightly open, it's going to start drifting to the right. Get the face slightly closed, it's going to start drifting to the left. I'd rather everybody worked on a bit of a shape, be it right to left or left to right. So let's try and hit straight. I've pinned it. It's such a hard shot. I'm trying to go zero path. It's probably not far off a zero path. Face would have been a little bit open. Let's just check that. So yeah, it was, it was a zero path, a 0 0.6 path, 
the face was 1.4 open and I've missed it I've missed it eight yards to the right and that's my point pretty much exactly I haven't presented a bad club face and it's missed the target a little bit so let's try that again zero face zero path because I struck it so well it saved it I timed that quite well. Yeah, closing rate was high, so I've saved that a little bit with the hands. 1.9 into our 1.6 space closed. Yeah, I mean that's a it's a good shot. So there we go. There's just a few different shots. Uh, some high ones, some low ones, some draws, some fades. Try it straight, it's a difficult shot, it's not a shot I'd want to be trying to game. Um, I'd always try and pick a, a shot into a green, so depending on where the flag was, if it was back left, I'd hit the draw. If it was more to the right, I'd try and get a little fade or a straight one to it. Um, but work with your natural shot, work with your natural shape. If it's a fade, fine. If it's a draw, fine. There's not one that's better than the other. But don't go trying to get your numbers as low as you can. I wouldn't suggest go searching for, for zeros or, or dead straights. Just work with the shape. Have a go, see how we get on.